I'm here today with Rosie Lee, Vice President and General Manager of Thermo Fisher Scientific's human identification business. In addition, Rosie has held key director positions with many of the technologies used across the forensics workflow, including real-time PCR, capillary electrophoresis, and next generation sequencing. Rosie, thank you for joining us today. So Rosie, as you've traveled across the globe, many countries have talked to you about the changes that are being implemented in their national databases. As the U.S. is now bringing on the expanded core CODIS loci, how do you see that program assisting in criminal investigations worldwide? Well, with the increased number of loci, it really increases the discriminatory power of STR analysis. And so as an example, you can imagine getting a, a hit even with a partial profile. At the same time, it also has common loci with other countries, and that will hopefully encourage international data sharing to solve crimes. Our product, Global Filer, supports uh, the new uh, core loci that the FBI has mandated that all labs move to. But at the same time, we're seeing specific regional needs emerge, for example, in Central Europe and in China. So for Central Europe, we have NGM Detect that specifically addresses the needs of that region, as well as Washout Platinum in China for that country's uh, specific needs. So Rosie, another product that we've recently released is a data analysis solution called Converge. So what is Converge? Converge is a data analysis platform that is an enterprise solution for forensics laboratories. There's two capabilities that we've launched. The first is case management and the second is paternity. So for case management, the tool allows our customers to bring data in from all aspects of an investigation into one system so they can easily look at physical evidence, forensics evidence, and any other notes that may have come through with the investigation. The second is paternity and kinship, uh, which the name obviously describes its capabilities, but what we're particularly proud of with this particular application is the ability to look at complex kinship and some of the visual tools we have to make it easier for our customers to do their analysis. So those are the first two capabilities. What you'll see as we go along is that we will continue to launch new applications. Uh, one of the ones that we're particularly proud of is one that will combine CE and NGS data because we see that as NGS comes online, customers will be able to have to be able to combine those two sources of data into one analysis. So speaking of NGS, which you just did, there are now starting to be some global initiatives in various countries to bring NGS analysis into the forensics workflow. What have you heard some of the countries talk about and how they want to use NGS? Well, first of all, I think there's a tremendous amount of excitement around NGS because of the enhanced capabilities. There's so much more data, so much more of an increase in sensitivity and precision. So the capabilities are really exciting people. At the same time, I think customers are trying to figure out how and where in the forensics workflow it fits. And for the most part, what we're hearing is that the power of CE is great for from an efficiency perspective and a cost-effective perspective. But in situations where you actually need more information, NGS is a great complementary technology to CE. So Rosie, we've launched the Applied Biosystems Precision ID NGS system for human identification. Yes. What makes that system the right choice for the forensics laboratory? We approach the product development in a forensically relevant and forensically responsible way. And what that means is that we develop panels that specifically answer the questions that forensic scientists have. In addition, we've incorporated other things that we think are important to forensics laboratories. For example, supporting very low input amounts because we know a lot of times you don't get a lot of DNA from casework. Uh, second, we try to incorporate one-time use only consumables to basically get inter-run cross-contamination to very, very low levels, as well as making data analysis very easy to use. Rosie, thank you so much for all of your insights today. We really appreciate you being here with us. And to learn more, please visit us at thermofisher.com forward slash HID.